Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. We've spent the last few weeks showing you an exclusive inside look at the Byron Nuclear Power Plant. This week, we're going inside the cooling tower. Let's take a look. What are we looking at? Well, this is the actual rotor. These are the rotor blades. This okay. is where the steam comes in. It actually catches on the back side here and actually cups the steam and makes it turn. So they got this type of thing that catches the, this is the rotating element it's called. The one's over there, the stationary. So between that, you direct the steam impingement so that the turbine goes around. Okay. So, so what is this doing down here? Are you guys cleaning it? Yeah, what well, we do, Every time, every 18 months, we go into an okay. outage. We basically take these, we sandblast them, and then we do what's called NDE, which is a microscopic evaluate um, inspection. To make sure there's no hairline cracks and easy. That's why and, you need this. Well, we actually have more sophisticated, yeah. sophisticated equipment than that. But these things turns at 1,800 RPM, a lot, a lot, a lot of energy and steam. And you gotta be worried about the blades not cracking because if one cracks, It'll throw it like a couple miles. Oh wow! So it's a lot, a lot of energy. How long does it take to clean one of these? How long is what? How long does it take to clean? Twenty-four hours. Oh. Take twenty-four hours to clean it, then another forty-eight hours to inspect it, and then we put it back in. That's so, quite a job. A lot, lot more moving parts than it sounds. Basically, there's a lot of stuff to it. So, so basically, you got different blades. I'll get into steam energy and all that, but this is where the higher pressure steam comes, okay. and as it cools down, it goes out to the bigger one, and then it goes to the next turbine after that, a total of four turbines. How many of these are there? In four. Oh, only four, okay. I was thinking this was like where there was 180. I was like, no, my no, God. No, <laughs> Can I touch it? No, go ahead, you touch it, it's not gonna bite, it's not sharp or anything. Oh, no. sturdy. Very, <laughs> very sturdy. Okay, so we climbed up this massive tower and we will definitely show you what that looks like. And I'm here with Kelly. Kelly, tell me a little bit about yourself and exactly where we are. Uh, I'm a maintenance program specialist here at Byron Station. We're inside the Unit 1 cooling tower during our Unit 1 refueling outage. Um, as you'll see, there's some workers behind us and we are they are doing inspections to ensure that we can have longevity of our plant. So this is the tower that's getting, what's that word again, what's happening here in this whole project? Refueling out. Refueling out. This is, this is it, where this is happening, or this is the cooling tower for the, there's this a lot that goes on here. There's a lot that goes on here. This is just the cooling tower. So what the cooling tower actually does, and what comes out of it is water vapor. We take the water from the Rock River to cool what we call the secondary side of the plant. So it cools the secondary side of the plant, which has nothing to do with it cooling any of the fuel or, or safety related equipment. So this cools the secondary side, which is our power generating side. So this is what's going on during the cleaning project, which is our refueling outage. <laughs> refueling outage. So, and so there's a lot of people making sure that everything's going right. That is just kind of what's going on, I think, in the entire plant the whole time. People making sure everything's running smoothly. And obviously right now during this um, outage, that's very, very important. I'm cold, which is why my mouth can hardly move and talk right now, but we do, you know, thank Kelly for showing us all this. This is an exclusive look. Not everybody gets to come out you here. You can only come in the tower when we are offline during a refueling outage. And you have to wear one of these. <laughs> and there's this guy. What a cool experience. Thank you so much to the entire team there for letting us uh, be a part of that. Coming up next, cleaning tips from Corey Chalmers from the TV show Porters. We'll be right back on Good Day Sailing.